Paul White with Green Star Panels. Can you tell me a little bit about your product? We call it hyper insulation because it deals with all three types of heat at the roof level. You have radiant heat, convective heat, and conductive heat. And when you combat all three types of heat at the roof level, you've basically taken heat out of the equation for your attic space. I feel like our construction methods are flawed. We build a house, we lose 30% of the cubic feet under our roof in our attic space, and then we let that get superheated, and then we expect that 160 degrees in that attic to stay out of our living area by only a half inch of drywall and a bunch of fluffy stuff. By keeping it completely out of the attic space, now your air conditioner runs in semi-conditioned space so when it first comes on, you don't have the problem with hot air blowing out. In Florida, we've had a lot of problems with copper um, uh, tubing that failed and so they replumb the attics and they put the plumbing in the attic space or in the, and so then you turn on the cold water and you get hot water. So once we put our panels in, now they don't have that problem with the retrofit um, homes that we do. We started two and a half years ago, and we've done over 80 houses, and we've seen a 30% reduction on energy costs pretty much across the board. Where are you located? We're in Lakeland, That's great. right between Tampa and Orlando. Okay. Uh, now, do you use this? Do you use this uh, product as wall insulation also, or is it strictly roof insulation? Yes, we use, a, we use it as wall insulation. Let me show you how it works. Basically, the panel fits on the outside of the wall. It's a rain barrier, it's a moisture barrier, it's an air barrier. It, it gets nailed to the trusses, and then we come back and we uh, use engineered screws and we put our nailer up, and so we create a convection channel when we put our siding up, whether it's hardy board lap siding or regular hardy board. So now you've got a hyper-insulated wall system that allows you a cavity on the inside to run your electrical and plumbing. But this is where it's most effective because in Florida on a 90 degree day you're gonna have a 12 degree differential if you're trying to keep the temperature at 78 degrees in the house but every square foot of your house has super heat above that drywall and you're combating that all day long our customers tell us that they set their air conditioner at 72 at night and then they set it up to 80 and sometimes they won't hear it cycling until 5 o'clock at night if your air conditioner's not running, I guess you're saving money.